Today, PG&E is filing preliminary motions for its bankruptcy case. KPIX 5's Ann Makovic is live at the courthouse now with details. And yeah, Michelle, I have nine pages of motions here that the judge is trying to go through step by step. But what became abundantly clear this morning is that this is going to be a whole mess, this bankruptcy process. We had a lot of lawyers in there for creditors, for vendors, and for vi fire victims all getting ramped up to argue why they should be paid first. The motions include PG&E's request for approval to continue paying its 24,000 employees and to borrow $5.5 billion from banks. PG&E officially filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection Tuesday amid potential massive liabilities from recent wildfires up to $50 billion. The bankruptcy filing allows the company to freeze its current debt and continue functioning, but it could ultimately drive up electricity rates for consumers, jeopardize California's plans for renewable energy, and lead to smaller payouts for fire victims. But pg &E's lawyer made it clear he does not want it to look like they are trying to avoid their responsibility for the fires. He said just the opposite. They're trying to establish a trust that would allow more fair and expeditious payments to fire victims. We'll see how it all unfolds. Live in San Francisco, Ann Makovic, KPIX 5.